Hi, my name is Leo Berman. I am part of the Septentrion Environment Team. And at the moment, we are studying the famous red coral of the Mediterranean Sea, Corallium rubrum, in two different protected areas in the south of France. The Calanque National Park near Marseille and the Natural Reserve of Cerbère Banyuns. In this video, I would like to show you our research and especially how we use the special method called underwater photogrammetry to obtain our data. The beautiful red coral of the Mediterranean Sea is a long-lived organism that lives in the Coralligen where it is a characteristic species of high importance. Today, it is still highly exposed to human activities like poaching, recreational diving, pollution or destructive fishing. In this context, we've studied Corallium rubrum population in the frame of two Mediterranean MPA, the recently enforced Calanque National Park and the 40 years old reserve of Cerber Banyuls. Welcome on board, we are at Le Cro-Magnon. This is our scientific boat for the sampling missions and we are at the Calanque National Park in France. And we are about to sample corals colonies underwater and to do that we will use those kinds of standard units that are 40 square centimeters big that are basically quadras but a little bit special since you can see on the sides those targets and these will allow us later on during the data processing on the computer to automatically orientate and scale our pictures. So now let's go diving and see what happens in the water. Because red coral populations live in deep water and dark habitats like this cave, sampling conditions are difficult. Photogrammetry is a technology that allows us to obtain precise measurements in the three dimensions without any physical contact with the corals. The method basically converts flat two-dimensional photos into a 3D model and to build this model we need to take photos of the same quadra from at least two different angles. We are now back in the lab to analyze our pictures with the software Arpenter especially developed for this purpose. From each pair of photographs, which have been converted into a 3D model, we pointed out the base, the diameter and the top of every branches of each colony. The coordinates of these points are then computed to obtain distances and finally measures on the coral colonies. This data will then be incorporated in our statistics to obtain our results. 